all right so now we want to verify whether the success thank you this keyword is present in this text or not we need not verify entire text so you need that you know that if you want to verify substring you need to just pass in string instead of printing let me take into success success text okay so now entire text is grabbed into this variable and i am checking whether this string is present in this variable if it is present it returns true we already saw right how to check whether string is present in main string we did multiple examples i think on this so if you simply add assert that's it so assert of true if it is true then your test case will be fine if not it will return failure okay so that's it so when you run this test now assertion will be validated and it will fail if your text is retrieved something wrong or if it does not retrieve at all okay and also if you want to take screenshot using selenium there is a method called driver dot get screenshot as file so it will capture the screenshot and then it will store into one file let me show you now i will give screen dot png just pass the file name so that when your selenium test reaches this step it gets the screenshot in that current web page state and then it will create a file called screen dot png and it will place it here that's it very simple method get screenshot as file and give the file name now run this test and now you will see assertion validation and also screenshot capture for that specific step so with this we can wrap it up all right so nothing is failed process finished with exit code zero and it's time to look screenshot if that's being created here screen you see that screen dot png perfect so this is how screenshot will be captured but you might get doubt basically in working when you are working in real time frameworks you want to take the screenshot only when there is test failure you don't want to randomly add the screenshot step everywhere right generally people want to have the screenshot when there is a failure on that specific point so this discussion i will have in framework lectures so now just understand how to take the screenshot using selenium on failure how to take that's completely different topic and i will talk about how to build utility for that in my upcoming sections but just remember that this is the method to simply capture it without thinking further anything about it all right guys so that's pretty much about selenium with python we do saw n number of examples with many real time web pages as well to understand this e-commerce application is one of the complicated application for automation because it involves so many different scenarios like based upon the product you need to select and the product may not be on the first one this could be anywhere in the page so we try to cover all these validations with good number of real time examples and these are very sufficient for you to kick start your career in selenium python but at this point you don't have any information about frameworks okay so starting from the next section we will start learning what are different tools you have to know before you want to before building a python end to end framework let's understand them and let's learn step by step by end of this course you can develop your own framework from scratch and i will also discuss how to data drive data from excel into your selenium test case as well that would be last but one or but two section so so many things are still there you just completed 50% out of it and the real interesting part starts from the next section when we start building framework all right so see you in the next lecture and meanwhile take a break and come back for part 2 of exciting learning of this course thank you